From bulletproof vests to coats, boots, and flashlights. If you're a police officer looking for the right gear, this store has it all. Even unusual little gadgets like this. You can take it, you can just throw it. Uh, this item can be thrown off a third floor balcony and still function. This is Granite State Police Supply, and it specializes in selling the most innovative law enforcement tools of the trade. Um, it has a screen so you can see what is going on. The business is just off Haverhill Road in Wyndham. But up until recently, you couldn't stop by. You had to order online. In fact, at one point, sales were all being done out of the owner's fraternity house while he was still in college. A business Raymond Balia says surprisingly came to life after a fundraiser for a police officer's sick child. When we get, went to give uh, all the funds over to the family, uh, the officer gave me a used bulletproof vest, some handcuffs, and I, I, I said, no, 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 I don't want it. And he said, no, you, you know, here you do. I appreciate everything you've done. Okay, so I had a bulletproof vest sitting in my dorm room. Didn't really know what to do with it. Raymond sold it on eBay, then noticed others were doing the same. So he bought some of those vests, and by using catchy phrasing and key words, was able to resell them very quickly. He was so good at it, he started marketing to police departments, letting them know that he would buy their used vests. And eventually, body armor manufacturers found his website and gave him the opportunity to sell new vests. It was only body armor until about a year ago, but as you can see, that has expanded considerably. We took our time over the course of a year. We took on, you know, another 15, 20 brands and that really drove us to need a store. The store opened the first week of December and police officers wasted no time. Even during our visit, a couple stopped in. And I needed a belt, so I came over to check it out. Lieutenant Tim Jones says Londonderry ordered their vest from a company out of state, but having a store to visit is a big plus. When a new officer comes on, um, a representative will come down and, and take measurements and then it will receive it in the mail. Um, but if there are any issues, it has to be shipped back uh, and refitted and, uh, and such. Um, but with here, it's just a quick drive away. Raymond says while he has been successful with online sales, up until recently, he didn't have any New Hampshire police departments on his customer list. But in seven months' time, he has about two dozen signed on, and he is also reaching out to others. Looking at security companies, uh, people that work for security companies, um, as well as personal protection. He carries the 511 brand, which is popular among law enforcement as well as civilians. And he also carries the Taser brand, which is for personal protection. And of course, pepper spray is available too. You can get it, you know, probably about, about 10 feet. Raymond does have some competition in New Hampshire as well as Massachusetts, but he believes he stands out from the rest. What we do differently than all of our competitors is the uniqueness of offering different programs. We have a vest buyback program where we'll buy a used vest back, give them additional income to purchase a new vest or any new products that they need, they need to buy. Of course, that stems from his college eBay days, and it's still going strong. There are a lot of police departments in the country that cannot afford, even with federal grant money, cannot afford to purchase new armor for their officers. And that's where our program, our buyback program, comes into play we can offer a five-year-old vest to an officer who's wearing a 10-year-old vest. And with help from the manufacturers, Granite State Police Supply can outfit most departments with brand new armor at steep discounts, and they have plenty to choose from. Well, this is really what, what a SWAT team would wear, um, and, and then it, it kind of progresses down. This is a step down where it still has these hook and loop, it's called molly, you can attach pockets such as these to them. Um, and then you take one step down from that where it just has some pockets on it. The company also tries to make all their products affordable. Take for instance this item, a search scope. Um, you can put it underneath the door and see what is going on, on the other side. You can see if there's, if there's anybody in the other room. The unsuspecting person is none the wiser, a helpful tool for any officer. The number one question we have when we show this to officers or departments, how much does it cost? and we tell them it has a $300 price point on it, their mouth either drops or they, they laugh at us like they, know, they don't believe us. Just $300 as opposed to four or five grand like that other little gadget we showed you early on. Of course it can't move about or write itself like this one can, but it has its own perks. It has a Bluetooth feature and can disconnect from the unit. If they were to look around the corner, you would be able to see, and everyone would be able to see, and not just hear it, but have someone tell them what's happening. They can actually see what's going on. The sky's the limit. We want to continue to grow as large as we can and be able to offer the same service. The one thing I will not do is jeopardize our service from our growth. 
It's hard to believe that all of this stemmed from one fundraiser. So one thing that I, I try to keep strong throughout um, our growth is giving back. It's something that, that I feel, you know, is, is, is a duty of mine. I mean, we, we, haven't, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for uh, the charity that, that we did. And so I, I say, you know what, continue the good and good will keep coming.